committed to live out some of the visions it stands for. The Institute of a National Transformation has donated food items to the community of people living with disabilities. The Institute says it is not only out to help the vulnerable, but also to exemplify an orderly strategy for distribution of palliatives. Kaede Ladende reports. The World Report on Disability, published in 2011, shows that 25 million Nigerians had at least one disability, while 3.6 million of these had very significant difficulties in functioning. This constitutes about 12.5% of the entire population. Sadly, there is one form of discrimination or the other against this demography. For the Institute, these special people should be prioritized in palliative distribution ends this gesture. We felt we should do something practical at this time in terms of just reaching out to help people who might be um, a bit disadvantaged, especially with this COVID lockdown. But it, it, it then became very evident to us that there is a community of disabled people in Lagos who may be left uh, out in the distribution. And so we decided that we will take care of these ones especially in this local government area. What uh, the National Institute for Transformation is doing goes a long way to complement the effort of uh, you know, state government. Uh, as you know, more persons with disabilities are going to get, you know, uh, receive these uh, food items today. I want to say a big thank you to the Institute of um, National Transformation for what they have given to me. I'm happy to be here. For all the give you people are giving to us, to give my baby today, May God, may, may Almighty bless you all. I really appreciate their kind gesture for personally with disability, for remembering us. It means so much to us. According to the group, the rowdiness that characterized the exercise by the government is avoidable with proven strategy. If we give the representatives, will they deliver? Oh yes, we have a structure for that. So what we did was that everyone on the list, we had sent an SMS to them. I heard that there is going to be a relief package sent to their home which we had discussed with the leaders. So now that we have, they have received it, the representatives, we'll also send an SMS to everybody to acknowledge receipt of their food. As these food materials get to the end of the chain, it is hoped that remembering these set of people in social welfare will be a normal practice going forward. Kyle Deladende, Silverbed News 24.